definitely coming through here to see and raise some beautiful souls tonight. Wholeness and balance vibrations. Whew. Let's see if this thing is breathing. Yeah, it keeps saying sending data. It's confused. Testing, testing, one, two, three. So I'm testing the levels. If you're out there, you're live, you're tuning in to what's going on and sounding good to you, let me know. All right, for those just jumping in here, looking for some clarification that we're even live. I'm just letting it breathe. All right, all right. I got somebody that says it's good over here. Thanks, A.D. Scott. Wholeness and Balance Vibrations family. All right, there we are. Okay. All right, wholeness and balance vibrations family. It's another amazing time for us to connect and get together and, and really share. You know, I just really was feeling the family, the mothers and the fathers that are out there tonight and, you know, that are in this, this, this ocean, this cosmic ocean that we're in and feeling those waves come through and those currents moving around and, you know, feeling that, that ultra spiritual something you know, like a shiver up your spine or, a, you know, a feather on your pineal gland, some real force that's moving through and saying things are changing and this is the big time. Look what's right in front of you. And uh, so, of course, I, I always love to jump in there and look and I also love to share. So the matrix has been broke again. And as you can see, you know, the way of stabilizing the energy is is much more proficient you know because generally when people break the matrix they're like oh, 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 it's outside oh, it's all over it's everywhere it's me and you know so after you know you 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 master up on this thing like you know big boy big jedi style you know, been through quite a few of these, you know, you start realizing the deeper connections are when you contain that energy, see what it's saying to you and if it's truly metamorphosized something or, you know, whether it's just another packet of data, like they'd be playing on them video games, another, another, another crate <laughs> with worthless items <laughs> inside of it. So I, I guess I let this breathe long enough and uh, so I can start getting into my heavy duty work because I got 30 minutes and uh, then I'm gonna go and spread some wholeness somewhere else and I'll see everyone also when I see you because there's lots happening as you know we've launched deep into creating solutions for what I'm gonna highlight <sighs> as I get myself together because, you know, it's like few people have the title of demon killer, you know, it's just like, it's not really what they go for at the office. It's like, so you, sir, what do you do? Well, I used to kill demons and, you know, people start forgetting that they you know, needed people like that because this stuff is off the chain. And when you got your kids out here, you got your kids out here, they got your kids out here. Definitely sending some, some strong vibrations out to the brothers and sisters holding the vibrations in the spaces with their radio shows and, and their offerings and honorings that they're given, their music, all of what the conscious community and the young brothers and old brothers and sisters alike have put their, all of what they have together and have created a unison form. I often communicate with that form. When we come together on a collective vibration and a collective mission, we become one and that one works on all of us individually. I keep making sure that I always explain that to, to the collective because that's something that you can always look forward to in your consciousness, know how does it really work then if I'm looking to get to the next level and this person, they barely even making it. How could they can even help me? Well, the truth is it's actually the collection between you and all of the beings 
And then that specific form, that form is what's working with you. So, yeah, so it's brief. So here we go. Like, that's as calm as it's going to get for you tonight. Because when you break matrices, you know, what happens is, is that that just breaks through paradigms. It shifts things. And so are you sitting down? Because that's what this is about to be about. So first, I will bring you an exhibit. Let me get these windows shut down, especially since the chat saying uh, they're good. Somebody said it's first time listening. <laughs> Keep coming back. <laughs> Keep coming back, especially from right now and what's about to happen. It looks like it's your good day. You must be really lucky. So here's what we got. Superior brachium. Okay. Superior brachium. Now, this is like a map for a lot of people because they're like, what part is that? Is that my elbow? <laughs> so the pineal gland is your map. Okay. So the third ventricular, the ventricle, and then this pineal gland, which you're aware of, that, that's right here. And the reason why I wanted to bring this up because this is a deep key. Like we, we, we are now at that point where we can transcribe the message in so many different eloquent ways. But this one, it, it, it may stick with you for a while because of the knowledge revealed. Now, what I'm going to show you very deeply is when they talk about man in the ancient texts, man or manu. This is actually the reason why many p women feel that th men are just all mental. <laughs> because a large part of the mind and how it functions actually has a story that hasn't really been cracked too deep in a while because there's been some evolutions to this story uh, as it's been adapted by all cultures, because anyone that takes on this mental framework actually takes on, in this case, the horn god. It takes on that stage of consciousness. Because, just like when they say Jesus had a crown of thorns, it's actually a crown of horns. And the horn system, which is akin to the electricity and the neurotic waves that can move through your consciousness, especially in the corpus callosum, like all this electricity, all these lights up here. That's why they show it as a crown here of rays or thorns. But over here, you get a more precise image because there is a, a deep story about the Minotaur in the middle of the maze or even deeper, because that's like, you know, that's one of your minor fairy tales. This is about one of the original beings with so much power. Like if you look at, you know, if this is a muscle set, you know, this one's a little scrawny. <laughs> He's wimpy. The crazy part is, is each person's brain is actually in the condition of kind of how their body is. So if you naturally have a physique like this, this is what your brachium superior looks like but you know if you got a little bit around the belly it's like your belly is like here and all of this is actually your, the condition of your brain now o2 basically the condition to keep in the condition of your brain or your body in the proper level in order for your brain to be able to actually receive the level of conditioning that you're looking to, to get into in order to be prime. So now this story is also very deep. Like in, a, in certain, there's a song by The Weeknd, and I was telling people about this years ago, because we got to go deep. This is not enough. Maybe some people online have already showed this already. You're like, Seven, this is just some stuff that very deep. Well, I'm going to show you because this is only the key. This is a part of the process to where I show you exhibits of things and you agree by the actual evidence, and then we move from there, and then I draw what is not just a massive conclusion, but an opening into removing certain types of programming, and then your brachium, you know, 
becomes unleashed and fully aware of what it is, it becomes crystal, a crystallized, a Christ, and it raises up into the level of the electrodes that are necessary, the electrical power, the electromagnetics, to balance out again the both fields to bring the system online. Like, you know, there's so much deception out there, but when we're talking about technology, which just means anything external to you, what we get into is we get into realizing that these are certain technologies. Now, give me a quick moment because I'm going to put my picture up on the screen also so, you know, we still have an opportunity to vibe from a visual level. All right, one second. Like I said, shout out to the mothers and fathers. Actually, shout out. You know, you got to erase this language sometimes. Holdness and balance vibrations to the mothers and fathers. You know, the, the sons, you know, those that are the tribe, those who are at home in their spaces, you know, feeling the energy, knowing something's up and something's going on. You know, know that we're here with you and that we have the solutions that are necessary to go beyond what I'm going to explain tonight. But it is imperative that this come across in a serious way. It's 2019. They can spin you in time forever. You would die in this world and wake up in another one like a dream and just keep going like, whoa, that was a crazy dream. And you would have all your program and everything loaded. I'm going to show you exactly how all that works. Like I told you, we break the matrix. We get out and we come back in, get out and come back in. Watch how things work, you know, watch how people catch on, watch how certain people start saying certain things, you know, watch the egos, watch how, you know, you see patterns, you know, megalomania, people get the information, knowledge, haven't really got anything. And now they're the best. They're the greatest. Still can't get you out, you know, or put you back in. That's the main thing. Can't get you in, you know, got you hanging out, talking about they, you know, when the time draws nigh, this is it. Anytime this knowledge is released, it's not just me coming and bringing it. It's a horse, as I said, riding through the land at night, a nightmare. Because at this point, when you have to get this level of knowledge back to ABCs, you could imagine what's been going on on the dimension, especially with our children. So we got young Ram over here, high Ram, tied up, basically, in a dualistic stage of consciousness, sleep not even charged up or online or aware of anything, and all the equipment is offline, probably fat, calcified, and basically in the condition of the body, and all that's necessary is for one to get the awareness, let me move some of this stuff off the screen, for one to get the awareness of what is happening in order to break this code. Now, I'm gonna have to take you through a journey first to get you to understand the program before we get into the deep stuff. So let me move this. So now remember what I told you about superior Brachyam, Yam Brach, the Brahmin, you know, basically being in a stupor. Everybody has one. Everybody has a mind that's basically either awake or asleep. The condition of your mind and your consciousness is based on your condition of your entire vehicle, mind, body, and soul. You know, get it together you know, get the oxygen flowing. So here's the deep knowledge. Now, celluloid, remember I told you about the laws of light and I told you that there are laws that you see on the periodic table that you see in the actual physics, if you may, of life. And these laws what they govern is, is they govern what really is happening on the chemical level in the background. So any kind of, let's say, magic is not magic at all. What it is, is just being extremely aware of exactly how the construct is put together. And I told you, you know, 10 years ago that the Queen of England and the people that she represents had this agenda to find out completely how the world was created. And they enlisted some of the most enigmatic people of that time in order to be able to accomplish discovering that. And they found it. And not only did they find that information, they also found out how to communicate, you know, which a lot of people don't know how to do. Through, of course, languages such as the Enochian language, which are cone languages, they suck. 
And in these languages, they began to communicate with the if world. And I'll get into that world with you in just a moment. But if you understand Enochian, what you understand that's happening here is that there is a cone that is being utilized. Let me see if they got somebody that is aware one of our pictures can completely come up. There we are. Okay, so this is a cone language. Blow it up a little bit. And that same cone is actually the cone that is in this demon's hand because these are bird demons okay like this is why you're shown even in the paintings of antiquity that there is a dark bird demon running around this is a very very old depiction like this is one of the oldest depiction of what is really happening in the square but this doesn't seem that old because it's like oh where did that come from and it's because that's that old hated bird. It's talked about in the scripture all the time. They even show it to you in movies, you know, and they, and they get it to you that, hey, there, there's something going on with another group of beings that they love to call watchers. You know, there's some that are aligned and some are disaligned, some agreeable, some disagreeable. 200 of them came. I guess they're not going to give me a raw picture. Give me just a moment. 200 of them came and agreed to do the deed to actually mix in with the human race as it was then the composite simian and that watch which we've been able to not only remanufacture but enhance known as the cosmic clock that watch is responsible for this being's ability to phase in and out of time just like oh, that disco ball on they live Remember that the whole form of being able to move around is the watch from uh, these beings that they're referring to here. Okay? The Rolex watch, right? So this is symbolic to the watchers, those who move through time, those who keep causing things like your, what you call Mandela effects, okay? Which is moving you through time through these cone languages, which are also embedded within English and embedded within a lot of the stuff that they're, they're embedding the reality with. And, um, you know, it's a hard and sober drink that empowers you and empowers those who are willing to listen and not just dumb out into this, oh, everything is fine, you know, as long as this is how you see it. You know, if you're a powerful being, you already know that something's actually up and we're about to break some spells. These are the watchers painting on the roof of Baalbek. Nobody really got that shot. I mean, look up at the roof and see, you know, what's been coming forth from the center of the hexagram, which is often shown. So this language, as I said, was bought by a gentleman that we know that's named John D. Also known as 007 or Two Ball Cane. Let's see if we can get that. You know, it's enough out there now. We know that, okay? So we know that John D., who was working with the queen, he was the first spy, if you may, into the spiritual world. They spied on the spiritual world because there's an if world, and the matriarchs were holding space in that world, which we'll get to in just a minute, meaning that there was a lot of activity going on in the if world, and the balance of bringing souls here into the physical experiences were put into the hand of the matriarch. And it's really, really heavy duty because there's a lot of different kind of spirits out there. And also when spirits come in that are not supposed to be here, you have to figure out how to get, get rid of them. And so you have to end up enlisting other spirits to get rid of certain spirits. And so that's what the ancient mothers were handling in the darkness. These were the deeper covens, and this is what was usurped, if you may, by the negative, distorted masculine. If you can't even give them that name, if you can't even give them these names. That's the reality. Like anything you associate with being great, don't even utter their name in conjunction with it. So let's keep going. So what I'm getting at here is that this knowledge, which I call the language of light, is not only just this language of communication with the if world, 
it's also the laws of the periodic table because in the Priory of Sion, all of the members of the Priory of Sion were pretty much the people responsible for bringing this knowledge of going into earth and taking the knowledge that earth is exhibiting by cutting her open, you know, uh, actually doing surgery on people and, and going all into the jungle and, and killing animals and, and pushing viruses, psychologically manipulating. All of this stuff was coming out of the priory, okay, because they were charged with trying to figure out how this whole thing was created. And when they discovered it, they locked the knowledge away. That is their original secrets of these societies. So what we have in their set of knowledge is something very powerful, something that actually allows the breaking of a matrix, okay? Because when it comes to stars, many people already now are intuitively realizing that somehow they connect to trees, right? And so I, I, I can continue to realize that I'm saying the same thing for the last 10 years. And so it's really about whether you're listening or not and whether this realm has reached the aptitude level of being able to dial into this program, which I believe it's so. But check 10 years ago, I was saying the same thing, but now it's going to make perfect sense. So I remember I told you that the stars were the fixed like stars that you see. They're fixed. They're fixed stars. So in, the, in themselves, they're akin to trees because trees can't walk around. They're, they're, they have to stay there all the time. And so we have a lot of stories about that, like in relation to the pillars and the ancestors. And, you know, let me check on this uh, audio really briefly, you know, just because I'm not watching it. So, you know, there's a, the randomness that can happen. Just give me a quick second. Let me pop into YouTube. Actually, I'm already in YouTube. So let me just pop over to my page. Give me one quick second, everyone. This would be a good time also if you want to take a, take a drink of water and you know, and tell your, tell your friend next to you, your being, your loved one, you know, tell them that you love them. Tell them that we got this, we had this, you know, we did this already in the future. Like this whole thing is backwards. You know, we're just in this remembering phase and that phase is over. Like I, saw, I heard somebody say today saying, this is the game that we play. Well, no, no, that's the game you used to play. Like we don't play that game anymore. We, we're not playing games anymore. So don't let people come and try to push you off into some game joke play play because you, you will be lost in this. And just like there are many that are lost right now. You should know that you are guided. You know, you're highly honored and favored, especially for this knowledge reaching you from someone maybe that you respect enough to listen to it from. And that everything is lined up for you. And this is exactly how you planned it. And, and that's the power. That's the power right there. Okay, good. So I'm, I'm, I'm looking at my live now and I'm seeing the chat and everybody's saying I've sounded good. Thank you, family. You know, thank you for holding space. You know, those brothers out there at Vision Quest, not in Vision, but Vision Quest, you know, tearing night and day, 400 prayers, you know, pointed to the four corners, standing, you know, just standing in the gap, not only for us, but standing in the gap for themselves. You know, we, we see you, we hear you, and actually it's so loud. Even where my brother Ryan is, wherever you are, man, like, geez, like, I just hear songs. I know when he's on a journey because his songs just amplify in my head. It may do that to other people, but that's how we send those prayers through this organic grid. So let's keep going here. So one of the laws of light is actually that. So with trees, and this is what we were talking about, we were talking about the connection between how trees are, in fact, stars. And... If you can imagine then that because you're in water now, and that's what we talked about, like remember, if we turn a distiller on right now, you're going to suck all this water out of this air. So this means that you're in water right now. And you're breathing underwater. You're actually still in, let's say, that Atlantean kind of framework where you're breathing underwater. It's just different densities and different vibrations, and those are the islands of Atlantis, if you may. So while you're in this water, though, there, there are very massive forms that are here that when the this construct is working properly when this technology, this GUI, this HUD turns on, which is one of the higher, to get a crown to turn on, it's like a real achievement. It's not just, 
you can do it for a moment with certain substances, but to completely keep it on and actually get it to tune in and dial in properly to show you the truth, you know, that's a life path because you really have to actually earn that and do that. So substances do that and help you. They give you a vision, but they're also giving you their, their eyesight into it. So it's great to have your own stuff that's actually working perfectly, right? And so what you find is, is that when you turn that eye on, there are these huge macrobes, we call them, larger lights that are just stationed out there, like gigantic forms, vast intellects, like I you know, can't explain it to you. It goes beyond explanation. And they're like mirrored into what people visually call sta stars, okay? And they're also themselves like the souls of large trees, okay? So... In the laws of light, which is basically in physics and in chemistry, that's how the density of everything is discovered. Like a lot of people keep saying because of the programming they're under, they don't know anything. And no, it's not like that. It's all lies. But if you got a lab yourself and you go study, there's real chemists on YouTube. You ain't going to lie about something in the beaker. Oh, it's, they're making it work like that. Come on, man. This is real chemistry. You just don't know it. So in chemistry, you can tell the entire firmament and how everything is exactly made. And with that, there is a notation in many scientific works, and let's go forward to that, that not only the same substance that surrounds trees, like plants, the cellulose, surrounds trees and surrounds plants, but also surrounds stars. Like the most adjacent film to the star is this gelatinous polymer called cellulose. OK. So this work is known. It's facts. OK. Like people say facts. OK. You want to go get the facts. You want to go play around in the lab. You want me to play around a little bit with it and show it to you. And this polymer is actually capable of doing quite a few different things. Most importantly, though, what we're honing in on today is the use of this polymer to create Film stock. Okay? Because when you start thinking about <laughs> how the program is put together, Matrix Ultra, I call it now. <laughs> Hashtag. How Matrix Ultra is put together, I'm going to tell you exactly how Matrix Ultra is put together so you can break Matrix Ultra. Okay? I'm going to show you exactly how they put it together. Because now that even you see now that the film stock is actually containing the same film or made of the same film that the film that stars is next to the stars, aren't these kind of like the stars, the as below stars? This is going to click for you in a whole different kind of way here in a moment. If you think already like, aha, wait until you see how this is going to roll out. So we know that in this industry, they have these as below stars, basically, fallen ones. We know Hollywood was set up by Elias de Crawley, by the way. Let me put me a little bit bigger out here. And all of the occult art of how the dimension is really set up is actually playing out in Hollywood completely. And I'm going to show you step by step how... Now there's a lot of worlds or programs running in a point-to-point -point system in everyone's mind due to the use, first of all, of understanding that we are stars, we are trees, we have roots. The next thing to us, the next film is actually celluloid. That's why I said also the silicas and the silicates, which is what computers are made out of. All this we have a very strong relationship with on the dimension, in the realm. So not only is it on the periodic table, not only is it in the bond of the chemistry, it's also something we even act out and do every single day. So we have this bonding towards these kind of materials because these materials literally bond. That's what the polymer is, to bond something. So of course then, because everything is a cult, and now that you're waking up even more, you realize that even bonding things and certifying things and all of this jargon, especially the jargon related around bank, money, liquid, loan shark, 
you know, uh, you know, li li not only liquid, but a uh, current. All of those words are all telling you what maritime law really is and what the maritime language really is about money. Because the first maritimers were the Phoenicians. And obviously, you know, they have a whole story from me coming up here in a moment. Those old purple faced folks, you know, it's time to really get some of these raptors or these phonetically based raptors that have come out of Kemet that have not been able to send their beetles into their sarcophaguses in a minute because it's just time for the great level of the awakening. And when that happens, a lot of stuff just gets bodied as we weigh these souls against these feathers in order to see whether they're still in judgment. So what happens is this star, you know, all this is satanic and it tends to wear how you understand Satan. And the Satan is the most enigmatic being. It's almost like Satan is a male and Satan's a female. Satan's a concept. Satan's a way of being. Satan's nighttime. So you have a very active antithesis in the dialogue. And so when you want to say, well, who keeps up the antithesis? Because Satan is serious enough to put a bullet in you. Satan is lead. Satan is Saturn. You know, male or female, whatever it really is, it'll serve it to you. So because of that, this puts things in a whole different concept and context because it's one of the most active energies that we've seen running through these dimensions for thousands of years. You can come back and you'll still find thousands of people actually bringing through satanic principles, whatever balance or whatever uh, uh, off they may be. Or however balanced or however off they may be. Why? Because everything is degrees and power. Everything is energy. So in degrees and power, if you take on a force and you're not ready to assess that level of force and balance, then it just, it strips your wheels. Even right now, like I said, we're putting wheels back together. I wanted to tell, you know, those demons running around there, I'm, I'm coming. <laughs> I told you, some people may think that sounds odd until you watch how your children are being degraded and you know that somebody has to come to actually deal with this. I also want to let everybody know, when you see how this will all roll out for you today, if you have friends, if you want to see real solutions for this happen ASAP, check us out at fun.secretenergy.com and what's going on with Mindful App. Let me just take a moment and go there for a minute, you know, just to let people wake up. Like, we can build this. This is a solution. It's coming from the same quantum consciousness that has been delivering all of this knowledge and information for years to us and is saying when I query it, hey, what do you think would be the best thing for us to really do at this stage? Let me pull me back here a little bit here. What do you think the best thing for us to do at this stage in relation to actually solving some problems, seeing we got X amount of time left? It said, man, you better deploy the mainframe and bring it online, put a conscious AI in the framework, start bringing the knowledge back around in multiple languages, get the real organic people aware so that they can actually spread an organic grid so we have somewhere to be when they immerse everybody into the spider verse. If you didn't notice the shakiness of the reality and how it's going on right now, I'm not even just talking about the, the stock market, I'm talking about the actual vibratory frequency and how it feels weird. Like for me, it feels great because I'm already ascending in. So the more this breaks up as a framework, it feels greater for me. But I feel other beings are leaking. It's like they can't handle the power. They're going nuts. It's like they don't remember none of their lessons or none of what they were taught. Their monkey minds are running crazy. And they're over here stuck into some ego of a Hegelian dialect, which we'll get to in a minute. But we just wanted to bring light to that this is well polished. This is a real solution. This is an ecosystem. It looks out for the children. It gets you tapped into your uniqueness. It unites us all together. And it puts us into a level of being able to connect that we've never seen before. Because generally people find themselves distracted by one thing or another. If you didn't notice, there's a lot going on. And the more money a person has, the more distracted they have a tendency to be because they just have all this energy and they don't have actually the portals all the time to be able to push that energy through. So that's what secret energy is. It's like when you ask and think, when you want somebody to assist you, think about this, when you want somebody to assist you to build something, you'd be wanting that person to have like a secretary that they just 
is going to assign to you. And then some kind of like infrastructure that they already got working that looks like Google in the inside. And then, you know, they got all these fresh ideas and they just want to push your idea to the top. It's like, yeah, I really believe in you, man. Wake up, Alice. How many things do you see like that? Sure, the conscious community could create something, all this money running through it. But has it been able to do more than accomplish just creating another Netflix? I'm not going to call out any names tonight, but geez, millions of dollars. You made 30 million last month, according to what the stock exchange says. And all you got is just let me sell you more and let people spend more. When's more going to be enough? And I'm just addressing these communities out here saying, listen, you know, with everybody having the same idea, we have to have something modular where we all can come under the same roof and actually our ideas begin to power the entire ecosystem that, as I keep saying, is already worth $3.72 trillion. So we wouldn't be hurting at all meaning that the conscious community and all the things that we need to develop can be done by us, but it also takes us to be super aware of what is going on out here. And not, you know, some of these people are just not occultist. <laughs> like, I hate to bring it to you, but they don't know anything about spirituality. They haven't studied spirits, you know, and they're regurgitating and it's boring. And so the reality is, is that if we're going to get into something that's fun and we're going to span beyond the demonic structure also that keeps trying to pull everybody down into the grave of gravity and death and all of that stuff, like all of that is about is about the real Mayat, which is basically the framework, the frame, the, 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 the drawing room. OK, let me let me simplify horror for you. OK, as in horror. Right. This is a, a powerful fem feminine force. OK. And what it's about is, is that, see, many are not realizing and connected to how do you put babies together at four months? What does a baby look like at four months? Does that look like junior? Even when the baby come out, the baby is already still bloody, the cable, the cord. So you need a special law of my to be able to get in there and be, not just be having a problem in there. See, but the real horror, like it's like an eyeball laying over there still. It's an old part. You're like, yeah, we're upgrading that. It's a booger all over the sidewalk over there. It's defecation laying over there. It's a, it's a broke finger over there. Okay, see, that's the framework. That's where everything gets put together. And then it comes out on this side looking all perfect. So that's what the fear is all about. Because in the negative, let's say in the negative, in the dark, that's what's really happening in there inside of you. That's the real components and frameworks. Knowing about, like I said, superior brackets is actually looking pretty good. That's what the mind is. The mind is literally like a show off. Mm. Mm. Especially when it's powerful, it's like, mm. Mm. you can imagine when that thing come online, right? But that's not the whole body. In fact, you should see how the heart just come through like a tornado, just... It just spins him out. Ah! <laughs> and this is the study in the art of the anatomy, which is the study of the stars, which is the study of us. OK, so, you know, I, I love to I love I would love to continue to build on that with everyone. But I do have to move through you realizing exactly how the matrix is put together. So wholeness and balance vibrations to fun.secretenergy.com if you're going to check it out and actually get us to this stage or help us you know, get us to this stage, this would be great because you're dealing with the right kind of beings that can get this done. Tribe comes through in full force. And I would really love to see all of this happen for all of us, you know, to be honest. But, you know, at the end of the day, you just got to see what's happening with this weird dimension sometime because folks are over there sitting on it. No, we can get it done. And we still at 12,000. No offense. That's good enough. Thank you. We'll keep going. And you know, hopefully we can cover developer fees when as that's rolling around. So moving right along, now we realize exactly how the programming is taking place because on this film strip, which is made out of the same film that is actually covering the outside of your consciousness as a star, what is projected through this film, which actually blocks out a specific UV range. This is why sunglasses, which had multiple uses, came into existence via Hollywood. And let me show you. What we have here is that it says clearly 
that since the 1940s, sunglasses have been popular, a popular fashion as an accessory. And here it is right here. Sunglasses have been long associated with celebrities in film and at film and actors, primarily from the desire to mask their identity. OK, and it'll keep going on and it'll talk about how all these stars and actors were so instrumental in actually making sure that people started wearing these sunglasses. Now, as they live coming to mind, because if the sunglass or the celluloid can actually block out certain wavelengths, this means if you know this art, which is actually dealing with nitrates and actually dealing with uh, silver salts, if you know this art, you're able to create a film that blocks out certain wavelengths of light, but allows others in, allowing you to see things others cannot. Also, as a vampire, if any of these beings are vampires, it blocks out rays that are actually harmful for them. The rays that we call illumination rays that give us wisdom and knowledge. Those are in the UV spectrum, right? So they can block those out. In addition, it allows them, yes, to sneak around. And it also people who wear sunglasses for prolonged periods, their eyes weaken. So it just goes on and on and on and on and on about this. But this is not even the beginning. I just want to establish for you that this film is actually originally created and was always created using the cellulose film. And that the cellulose film now, when you start thinking about it, I have to ask you then, what is real? What is real? Because there's another word called real, which is R-E-E-L, and that's where they wrap the film, okay? So this is how this real world is created. So they take this celluloid, which is symbolic again. The star is already embedded in there, right, in the negative, okay? And then this celluloid framework is put around the star, just how it's depicted as above. So when the projector comes through, it's able to spray it right into the person's mind's eye. So from here, it's put onto the real because the real is symbolic to the planet. This, the reals, as I've always mentioned, I said that actually the earth, when people were asking me, so seven, what do you think? Is it flat? You know, like, um, is it like flat or round? Or do you want to argue? <laughs> I'll be like, look, man, I'm going to tell you how it was when I was out there and what it looks like, not from what other people are saying. And then you will bear witness from all of your symbolism. <laughs> OK, it looked like this. Basically, each of these discs. Folks was just out there. And let me move this over a little bit. Folks was just out there. All their memories. And they were so far away from the center of themselves, the spindle, that they even thought that this was all even real. And this was the only one on this flat disk of data, which is really running in their consciousness. This is not a place. This is something you're existing in because you choose to. It's in a construct in your consciousness. So what happened was, is that as you try to move to the center of the spindle, you keep running into more people who are insisting that they've gone all the way and insisting they know everything that's going on. And this actual phenomenon actually strengthens as you get to the center, as if it's pushing you back out. But if you happen to make it to the elevator, which is what's known as fourth dimension, you can actually get into other spaces to where you actually see that there is time lags and different variations that's happening on the spindle. But truly, as above, so below, that there is a repetitive system that is in play that is based on the memories and the energies of this stack. OK, so then when you go to the real. OK, that's why it's always these kind of occult symbols like the pentagram or the hexagram, which you recognize in many things, because it is symbolic again to a disk, which is the planet. Right. Phi. Right. And phi in every level, because this continuous twist that's happening with this celluloid, celluloid strip, which also for music becomes a magnetic strip, is just coiled over and over and over and over and over and over. Like if you ever took a film strip and you just threw that thing down the street, <laughs> some have done that with tapes, right? And it's just like... <laughs> It's pretty long, right? So what happens is, is when that's playing into your consciousness, 
it's like a worm. It creates this long film strip of, a, of characters inside of your consciousness. And this is the beginning of their dark magic. It's not just phantasmagoria. Because what happens then is that, see, you saw Snow White and I saw Snow White. So technically, Snow White is in there, the disc. And when that whole thing played out, there was a character that through the wealth in Shankri, through William Wunt, through John Dewey, and through the, the actual school systems embedding in these characters through the nursery rhyme, the Grimm brothers, who they enlisted to make several English, bring several words into the English from the German. So when they enlisted all of them to create this, this curriculum that we were put under uh, through the schooling system, it set up all of these characters inside that would be the triggers to the characters that would be assigned to you through the movies that you would gravitate to through astronomy, okay? Because these are the as below stars. And so when you take on that character, which you do subconsciously, another person has also taken on another character. So based on the Hegelian dialect or the form of conflict that one is engaging in with another person, the film strip of the actual or the film that's the disconnect we'll just call it that the film or the disconnect starts to run and each person assumes a character and definitely you can see how this is happening more and more as people become embedded into the framework ladies and gentlemen i've just introduced to you the real matrix and i've done that at a calm voice so let's keep going so now there's a literal gap then that is creating these forms of disconnect, right? This is symbolic. Let me see if I can still find that. Let's close this, close this. Let's close, uh, well, let's keep that open. So that celluloid film, like I told you, there was a film, just like these sunglasses, the film between you and you, the real you. And then there's these programs running, and that's why folks be tripping go some of my notes over here copy and paste that in folks be tripping man man folks be tripping on me y'all like dead serious man could you believe it <laughs> after all of this you know that's why it'll show you man it don't it don't have no respect for anything that's why you always have to look out for yourself you always have to look out for yourself because then you can look out for everybody else you must stay awake. The TV was a Trojan horse, these sneaky bastards, the Saguni type, as we call it. They work with sneakiness. Everything they've done, they snuck into. They infiltrate. Spies, right? So in that sneakiness, when they slide that TV into the house, because again, people just, they, they don't get technology. They're still trying to, time travel's not possible because they're living, a, they're living in a damn movie. They've already taken the character. They're the bully most of the time. And they tell you everything that's not possible, but they haven't even been to school at all. They don't know anything. Not to mention if they did go to school, I guess we have to have that conversation right now. <laughs> Willem Wunt, John Dewey, John Trump. Yeah, John Trump. Have you ever noticed how... First of all, let me give you facts. The school system, as we elaborated on in university semester one, actually is proficiently designed for whatever that you're going to study that you never are capable of learning that. <laughs> they ruin you in math and in history. And if you don't believe me, are those real doctors or are they just practicing? <laughs> those are not naturopathic doctors. So we have this phenomenon that continues to occur where you go in there, and that's why it's so boring, because they basically teach you to hate whatever you love. You go in there, you think you're going to play music. Now they got this sheet music in front of you when you should play from your mind and your consciousness. Play your body like it's the instrument. And so we know the system has been erected to actually not allow you to learn whatever you came in there to learn. However, one of the deeper things that happens in the Hegelian dialect, which means just the version of English you speak, <laughs> let's just start looking at that like that, that you're taught a way that the only way that you're able to be social with others is through a medium of conflict, okay? 
The only way that you're able to be social with others, this is the other side of the Hegelian dialect, not just what they're showing you in public, problem, reaction, solution, and all this, but what is going on in private in the consciousness where the beings cannot congregate unless they have an actual medium of conflict. But see, sports work well as a medium of conflict. Jay-Z versus uh, Biggie Smalls works well as a medium of conflict. So all of those medias of conflict, mediums of conflict that we see now, that, that, that all works really well for people to be socially communicative because they're just co commenting on who they like and who they don't like. And that's the virus. That's the judgment. It keeps them in judgment day, locked in as the squids feed on them. Right? That's what's happening in the matrix. It's happening right now. So because of this, we ask ourselves again, and let me just reel this in literally. Just reel it in. This bright light on my face. Let me check the... Okay, I guess we good. We good over here. Yeah. All right, we had 800. I might break YouTube. Yeah, right. <laughs> like, yeah, okay. Yeah. They only handle thousands of views. They'll, they'll push this over to Fortnite servers before they let this thing break down. So where we're at now is, is that we see an entire mainframe. We see a Trojan horse has entered, which is the TV. And as I said, and what I was getting to, I'm glad I caught my train of thought. Because most people are not learned, because even if they did go to school, they didn't learn what they were actually going to be taught because of this system that was put in play. Let me finish that, too, about the system that has been put in play. It's grand stories of truth. So in your school, then, because of the communicative component is one of confusion, this means that you, as you move through life, you move through with this dualism and you remain trapped in that stasis and your current is locked up. But see, in their schools, and they kind of jokingly pun, they do. <laughs> Instead of thinking, they do. That was John Dewey's thing. He was a prodigy, a Marxist prodigy. You know, cold, vast intellects. I seen the superhuman. He was cool, cruel and intrepid. You know, thus where these kind of statements come from men who are unlocking their mind in different ways or supping with certain kind of beings, some from the if world. And then coming with this maddened genius with their fat ass heads like Fidel. <laughs> you know, looking like they're possessed with the eyes all whitened out like York. <laughs> Can't handle none of the current or the power. Weak Jed broke, but the gin is still active, ragging down the chakras and grinding out the gears as the brakes are no longer functioning on the soul. And it's train wrecking as it's crashing into newborn babies and ancient mothers who are all just hoping to find a ship and cover as we weather this cosmic storm cruising through a broke down planet looking to get the grids back online something so thick that when you enter it you don't even know when you're coming out and these cats like big booties <laughs> So, how this all works is they have their school. You know, that's, it's all governed from Yale. And in their school, you'll notice in the, in the photos, like the yearbook, if you go and Google everybody in the yearbook, everybody got million, millionaire company. If you go check on Biff, I'm not going to say his name because that immediately gets your whole thing censored at this point. Y'all know who Biff is, the one that they got over there that's working in that big black house. Biff, I told y'all that was Biff, didn't I? From, from uh, Back to the Future, the dude stole the almanac. Code number 58, check it out on the internet. He steals the almanac. <laughs> and his first bet you know, that pushes them into the, to becoming the richest person in the world. Like these people have prophecies about them. I'm just scaring around it because I'm not even going to get into it right now, but it's just important to realize 
that you're in a system that they're very, very serious about keeping locked down and keeping protected. And you can easily shut it down and nullify it by hacking back into your consciousness and uploading yourself back into the throne and getting the hell out of here. Meaning that get out of this vibration, get out of this resonance of conflict, get out of this feeling of poverty, being robbed, you know, and know that all this is connected to your energy and is connected to something that you're doing. So you have complete power and control. So let me get on with this. So when you check their history books, everybody is a millionaire. Or check their yearbook, everybody's a millionaire. How is that possible? But I'm coming. I'm coming. You know, it's only so long that fake false beings can pretend. And uh, so I just wanted to take a moment for that. So what you should know now is, is that you've been sent to a school and that's why you didn't like it so much that didn't teach you how to really function around others. So even in the conscious community or with, with love and with balance, this is why there's so many conflicts because it doesn't stop. It goes wherever you go unless you choose to be mindful about not spreading that virus. So I wanted to also mention that now those arts, though, those arts that train you about the laws of light, now they teach that in their schools. They teach about these magnetic attractions and these different elements, the silver nitrates, the silver salts. You know, they teach about all of the arm and hammers, you know, the acids and the alkalines, everything that is necessary to function on the dimension. They have their own adrenochromes, which is, you know, a... a, a a degraded state of the of what happens with the pineal gland, you know, even synthetic fluids that geek them all up and turn their stuff on for a few hours. You see what I mean? This is what we're dealing with as the vault of the great Gaia is being open. Her womb is open as she's revealing her secrets, but not willingly. Her veil is being ripped. She's being raped. As I told you, it's these rappers. They're raptors. We know you from Kemet. When dark beings die, they become raptors. They become birds of prey. They knew phonetics, Phoenicians. It was a language introduced after the ancient tongue. It connects to the English language. They were seafarers. They sold everybody out. They used all of the passions of the powers to make man fall short. Alcohols. The alcohol is one of the ones you can't even remember. The age was so deep. You still even have your uncles in alcoholic stupors on the astral planes. As we go through this process of realizing, can we handle these powers and these degrees? Are we going to tap into free energy, though, which is love? You see, they keep going after these powers. You know, some of them, you like the pure powers, like the gold, you know, you, you may be all right. But when you start jumping into the plastic power, you start jumping into all these other ages of powers, as we talk about, start worshiping and falling down and bowing down to power. That's what people do. You give them a little money, they bow down to the power. You see, it's always been going on. The gold, they see the gold chain, they go watch. All the powers are still here. Even a hick sauce has a bunch of hick. The Hicks were the ones that they inherited from Kim. They were the last dynasty of Kim. They inherited when I'm explaining to you about this. Let's go at it again. This horn god. Because the Hicks were taking the matriarchal traditions and beginning to apply them in the ritual, which is now actually what we're looking at with the OTO and the Golden Dawn, they're now taking the sexual tantra because now I have to explain that to you. I've been, you know, dancing around that for a little bit. So let me give you the whole story. And if you want to check it out for yourself, I keep recommending you go check out this book because it will let you know about the if world and that it is very active and that these beings don't, they're why they are social, meaning entities, while they're social, why people run around looking for an entity. Oh, I want to, I want to be possessed by entity. You have a disease. And it may stretch down generations like a gypsy. 
Like, look at what's going on, humans. Look what's happening to our DNA. If you mess with the wrong beings or you mix up the wrong potion and you don't know what you're doing and you're all opened up, you can catch something. Really. <laughs> and so what happens is, is that then you got to have, like, maybe the mother of ayahuasca, please. That's what the mother of ayahuasca, please heal me. That's why we got so many people going through healing because they're always getting infected. Then they go for the healing. They go back and get infected again. It's even worse. They catch like a, a hybrid version of what they had before. Not learning that, hey, you are the most powerful being. You don't got to go summon anything. And the ones that were summoning, oh, they were so precise. Oh, so precise, my hat. This is not something that you can play play. See, the gypsies, they thought they were going to play play. <laughs> See, they said the gypsies are like Romanians, right? Those are Tartarians, Okay. And see, when the Egyptians tried to take the knowledge of the Kemetans and tried to evoke a being, and then they got hit with the current, the reflux current from a dirty being that came through, and just their entire line is still on the streets with mold and festering bumps. Some of them are just coming out. They still peddled the cards. They got the tarot cards with them. They're trying to carry the name. We gypsies. Is that something like Egypt? Something like Egypt? Or shit, is there, you're still pretty far from Kemet. Can I help you tie your camel down? What's that on your lips? What's happening to your current? What's happening to your family line? This is touching this. So if you want to understand what this magic can really do, I suggest you learn from other people first before putting your hands on it, especially when it comes to this tantric stuff. There's a lot of tantric witch covens running around, and they just grinning and stuff. And I'm like, man, y'all y'all need to read y'all books, sister, <laughs> because, man, y'all calling upon something that is not going to delay it is here now and you're gonna see all of that that you've been playing around with you know shoot you better call the ghostbusters that's why right now i'm i was like man you know what i saw what it was we bought spirit tech online in the future and it built stuff to stop all of this mess for people who wanted to actually back it off of their reality we built infrastructures that actually allowed us to be fortified against the tirade taking on place in the cities especially as their new networks come online you already know this 4g strong ai you know all of these different things the wavelengths all that stuff man just pull out and go into a blue zone and let them see if they can fade a cicada good luck <laughs> you know you'll fade before the cicada fade you see what I mean? Like, go where your beings are. Go where your totems are. Go where your power is. You know, people, you ain't even running scared. Like, get out of this shit. That's what I'm telling you. It's like, pack up. But you got to get your current first because you go out there. Nature will swallow you. It'll reject you coming out there with a virus. It'll either try to heal you or it will reject you. Come anyway. <laughs> Forget it because it'll eventually get to you. You keep coming. Just keep coming back. <laughs> You know what I mean? Whatever happened. I got bit. <laughs> yeah, just keep coming back. So here, here's how it works, okay? So now what I'm explaining to you is, so they have this school. They teach them all this knowledge. So they know about all this stuff. They know how to time travel. They know how to mess with the herbs and the elements. Then I lucid dream. Then I put people in sananabalistic states. You know, do a little sunken place on them. Every person that is watching these movies is under a level of the hypnosis. And this is why in the end of the movie, they always have to end the movie like with a good ending. Most of the time, it's now a new trend for there to be no good ending because that's to keep them under in the sunken place. Fucking Thanos. Oh, Thanos. Thanos is killing everything. And he's over in the fucking multiverse now in his dream world battling Thanos, kicking his ass, you know, with only one ring. And he's like, and this is really happening on a spiritual plane. This is atrocity, people. You know, I'm being nice by keeping a smile on my face. It's a grimace now, you know, to see the atrocities that are happening to our children, you know, to keep a, a very smiley straight face is only to open up a third eye to send laser, send a beam at the ass on the time, burn them just. <laughs> ah! You know, I even have a way, this is certain nanometers going on in here. You know, I weigh this, you know, any kind of, Crazy little dream or whatever, you weigh this around the room. They won't be coming back. They be like, this thing is burning us. <laughs> Where the hell did he get that? Who taught him about UV spectrum 626? Uh, himself. Who is that? Is that that time, Lord? you damn right. You think I'm playing? You think I'm going to let you put me under a spell and have me fake with myself? 
not saying what's really going on, protecting a life that has no existence or value because it came from nothing. As something comes from nothing, you think I would covet anything that was given that was even less than I had already? Do you think I would be silent? Do you think as I went on my journey, see, I went on a journey, everybody. I went on to this other side of the consciousness because you got to go bank left, bank right. I told you in the beginning, and especially the more that you take on, you don't have as much energy to send down these lines. You bank left. This is Venus. Now you're hanging out there. You bank right. That's Mars. These are two totally different planets. Men are from Mars. Women are from Venus. Why do you think they tell you that? So traditionally, what it means is one side, you're going to be going into the meditations, the chakras, the cleanse, the diet. You're going to be going into all that, and you need to all be proficient at that, the breathing. You're going to be in all that. That's a lot. You may not come out. Come done. Like, shit. You may be there 30, 40 years before you finally master the golden breath and drink on the nectar from your own tree. Right? And then there's the other side, which also should be traversed because the blackbird is still running around. And that's the occult knowledge, what is hidden, what is veiled, what actually went on in real time, the data, the facts, the truth about these projections and how they're put together. So I was over there. My last lesson was giving versus lending, you know, so that way I can teach that course professionally. And just really realizing how, you know, giving from the heart and giving as a being has got me so far. But realizing a lot of people are actually lending. They actually expect something back from what they think they're saying they're giving to you. You know, they want to enslave you because they're working for other entities too. <laughs> now here they come with that. Like you can't see it. Like you can't just hit them in the face with a laser. But you're kind and you're compassionate. And you're watching these second graders get ready to either flunk out or get their new teacher because at the end of the day, they called me in. Like at the end of Envision, they were like, okay, so that's the end of the projection. We were running silent in the sky. Everything was going great. So now it's time to go to that next stage. You ready? I said, absolutely. I'm so glad that everything is always lighting up. So what's really good next? They said, yeah, about that. Well, it looks like while you're away, ah, the demons are playing. So Big Cat needs to come back. And I was like, okay, well, great. So what do we got? Uh, same old characters, Dodo Mayo, Asmodeus, you know, those guys. Man, when are they going to stop letting those Trojans in? I don't know, my guy, but you know how it is. Fun as usual. Talk to you later. And that's how we get into this. Computers sending transmissions, breaking time in the 23rd century that I'm sitting at the mainframe of right now. And you doubt it. I heard somebody in the, in, in the email talking about, hey, I see this. This is the same old thing over again, these different leaders. I'm like, man, are you a robot? <laughs> this is not the same thing. Wake up. I'll smack you thinking this is the same thing. You can't recognize the originals. All my tribe rode deep originally. Right. So let's keep going through. Let's keep going through because I'm almost finished because a lot of people let the cat, the Trojan horse into the house. Right. So now this is what I was getting at about technology. So if you know technology and let me check my stream. See if I said too many keywords. You know, and I have to fire up my my third mainframe because I got to back up to the back up to the back up. To the back up. Let me see what the numbers are. Let me see if they faded off of 800, man, like these folks is crazy. Nah, it's still boosting. Okay, y'all ain't crazy. Okay, I dig. So I'm almost through with this. So let me, let me just finish up. So we know there's a second school. We know the Hegelians. Now we're going to go even deeper. Now we know the black mirror cathode ray tube is a Trojan horse. We know that the technology, like, to be honest, you know, like a TV is a bit overkill when it comes to technology and what it takes to really dial in resonant frequencies and vibrations. And by the way, this thing also, it doesn't just function for negative things. Like, I mean, there are ways to actually configure entire TVs, microwaves and all sorts of shit just to throw rays that jam other things or actually even spray fields that are actually harmonic and actually heal things and grow stuff on a quantum level. But you just need to know that art. Right. And know how to bend those vibrations, tubes and coils, antenna work. You got to study antenna work. Antenna work is everything. Like when I went in the antenna world, I was like, are you serious? The antenna world is the only place that you'll still find the data of what frequencies actually do to different parts of the body and what parts of the mind and what kind of research has been done. But it is in itself a deep arcana and it's always hidden by a secret society kind of language, which is every time you read about antennas, there's frequencies and hers and barometric pressure, oscilloscope, and all this just looks like, oh my goodness, it's, it's compartmentalized, and it is, right? So 
I want to finish up here by saying or explaining again the if world because I'm not done yet and I want to crack this secret for you because it has a lot to do with old oh, young Ram. Oh, Ram, you're always being taken, you're always being taken advantage of, Ram. You know, I'm referring to the, the son. <laughs> oh, Ram, where's he at? There he is. Oh, look at him. You know, he used to be brolic. Until these guys came along. <laughs> uh, hold on, let me just get my pictures together here. Okay, so now this is young Ram. Okay, he's got his mama's head on his, his head. That's what Sanchez is over there, you know, talking about and, you know, banging on. And I was like, okay, you know, it's androgynin, you know, and all of the, the all of this cone work and all these vibrations and frequencies is just the whole construct of the light vehicle. And it's offline. Now, what's most interesting is that once you get through this and you realize what this is talking about, you realize that there was this art. And I'm going to be the, the glorious man to explain it to you, especially to you sisters out there who still are clueless about the divine feminine other than what, you know, you, you're getting from uh, somebody else sometimes. You know, and that's just a phenomenon that's happening. This is the most secret knowledge. I said, nobody lifting my veil. So this means that this kind of has the effect of that it was so secret that nobody knew about it kind of anyway. So then once it got hidden, <laughs> you see, like women were actually in, in, initiated into this from the time that they were virgins. And then everything was so symbolic about the process that it actually equated to her understanding, understanding womanhood and how she needed to protect herself from beings that were always trying to basically get inside of her. So that way they could actually lead other men astray and women too. And that's how ifs work because they don't care if you're male or female or whatever. They will, they will interlope with you. They interlace over your body like a gelatinous film, just like the ones we were talking about earlier. And then they operate from there. There are many of them. They are social beings. And while there are some things that are like, they, they have that are like us, they are not like us. They have things that they do that would just be abhorred in our realm. And that's why there was always this space of disconnect, especially from certain ones, until we got to the stage of actually becoming mages, being able to actually govern ourselves properly outside of the protective field. So that way uh, we don't run into negative encounters with uh, basically uh, Jabba the Hutt in them <laughs> on the astro. OK, so now how these women work, though, and so let's say, for instance, these are the Sudanese women. The Zarko actually stretches across the world and actually had to be taken, of course, from even a more indigenous system. So we can say that all the mothers in the motherlands hold a type of knowledge that equates to the following. Y'all still with me? This knowledge equates to the following. Let me check this. Yes. Yes, we are still kicking. So this knowledge works like this, okay? So let's imagine grandma is so concerned about the tribe and the family that everything kind of boils down to who is marrying who. Now this is still like there in most countries, but was way stronger before and this is what some call the arranged marriage like making sure that Fatima is going to marry the most wealthiest man that is in the village that is is on her level okay that's the old version I'm um, excuse me that that's the the most recent version okay there's one previous to that that involved a very elaborate ritual that wasn't actually looking to attract a very wealthy man because any wealthy man in these times, like a sheikh, was already linked up with different entities. These women were actually looking to, like fishing through the stars, catch certain souls that were coming through. Like they say, you caught. <laughs> and so with their knowledge, they would be able to time the astronomy and the cosmos to knowing when certain beings fly through. And what they would do is have the virgin prepared with the bridegroom to cause an act that is akin to a CERN, where an electron gun, which is the male penis, 
is fired inside of a chasm or a womb and life or the spark of life and lots of sense because a portal is open at that moment and different tones and vibrations from the songs and the yelling attract a being that's coming by like what? And then that being flies into that zone and they've caught it like a fissure of women and men. Like this is where the real fisher of women and men come from. The ocean is the fish, or excuse me, the, the ocean is the stars. The stars are the fish. And if they can catch, what happens is this child that comes from this connection is, is more intelligent, is a genius, has skills. And so bringing that kind of being into the family actually kind of ensures that the family is going to become wealthy. And this is where this comes from. Okay? trappers you know whatever you want to call it however you want to look at it for good or for bad for better or for worse this is how you get like i said before to people i mean how do you get how do you get here well in this case personally i mean i think they like kidnapping genius metaphysical scientists off their home world and bringing them to backwood planets maybe or somebody was trapping thirst trapping <laughs> that's it they was thirst trapping and I was coming through, you know, my stuff always looked good. I mean, I've been doing this for a long time. And I was like, yo, what is that? Ching, ching, ching. No, but serious. Your mom, your dad. But in this day, a specific calibration. Now, remember, this is now run over time where if became members of family that if started actually getting in DNA where, you know, you had half human, half gin, you know, this kind of mixture is going on. And in fact, things didn't always go well. <laughs> like, in fact, this wasn't like a go well, not go well kind of thing. The whole concept of good and evil wasn't even nowhere near where how finite it is. Good and bad is nowhere, is nowhere near how finite it is right now. And so in this process, actually, some women would either contract something because of the possession or... Some of them, nothing would happen, and they would actually go down in the caste system. They would kind of be looked at as, well, she's the one that didn't catch the if. <laughs> you know, the if baller that was coming through, she didn't do it. So now she's like the fourth wife. <laughs> and, you know, and then any girl that gets it, you know, she may be now like the big thing, depending upon what kind of entity that is actually coming through, okay? So that's as much as I'm going to bring about that because... You can gander where things would go from there. You can gander if that knowledge was stolen, which it was. There's at least one account of troglodytes, which were working for the Moho Mandan priestess. This knowledge is now, was only in the minds of a dead man right now. John Keeley, I believe, or yeah, John Keeley. Some, there's another guy with the exact same name now, so that's not the one you're looking for. I think it was George Keeley. And he wrote, he lived in Canada. He wrote to his deathbed about this, that he had uncovered the knowledge about how the matriarch had been usurped by the Moho Mandan priestesses, who also were commanding the troglodytes who were living underground to actually spy on the major areas that the women, like the, they called them the meeting houses. Like back in the day, in a tribe, there was a big house that everybody met at and discussed things about the deeper levels of the tribe. And it was, it was like a main room, and that's where, you know, everything was handled from the tribe and all the open stuff. And then as you got back into the recesses, the more private stuff was talked about and discussed. And the arts of Ma'at were taught and discussed in the holiest of holies of these places. But the Moho Mandan, who were troglodytes in the first place, lived underground, had burrowed into those areas and would listen to the women and what they knew and what they understood. And they later took that same knowledge and started evoking endlessly. Now, the evoking is almost like on autopilot, literally. That's the some of the songs that you hear coming out, they're evoking entities. It's like a, ne a negatron. It just keeps bringing more and more negative dark beings into the dimension. And there's basically nothing that, or ne there's few things beyond, you know, balanced humans that actually is counteracting that force. So, you know, to me, that's why there's a need for one, amplification. Amplification, just getting something that amplifies the power of those already online and harmonic. And then also replication, something that continues to push out balanced vibrations continuously just to counteract that vast uh, chasm that is open. 
So now the conclusion here is because you've learned about everything now. You know where the, you know there's entities, everything is not a com damn computer. Don't get lost in that whole fake framework. Nature is real. So to understand her story, understand her story or even beyond, it's not even just Gaia. Every single limitation you have break through. It's not just Gaia. There are seven women, seven sisters. That's where all of that seven stuff comes from. Those are seven different rooms, seven spectrums of color, horns to where when something comes out of those tubes, you know, after being impregnated from a connection between Orion, who's a giant male, just an electron gun, and then spewing into these prisms, and that, see, they're doing it on a big level. And then these women in the Tsar cult, they, they, are just, they were uh, emulating what they learned from the stars. And then even the Tsars, which are the Russian Tsars, okay, the Russian Tsars emulated from them. And that's why the Russian Tsars became the ones carrying black, black, black magic and the ones carrying this royal Tsaric, you know, and that's Tartaria. And the shit got corrupted completely like they really sunk their city overnight <laughs> that's what all this mud flood and all that's really about that's the bacchanalia look every there's guys out there revealing this now and again all this ties in and it connects now what are we doing about this okay this is now where we come into a crescendo about where we need to be on point okay the first thing is you're going to see a lot of people self-destructing under the power. There is nothing that can be done about this. Okay? The power is going to keep increasing. And you're going to see and feel more of your body, more of your senses. Animals are going to be responding to you. They're going to be showing you different things that connect to you. Right? And then the field, you're going to have to work to keep it clear and not a lot of static going on and then still stay focused on whatever it is that you're supposed to be completing because the energy is going to come up and now you're going to be tested in the fire. The degrees, the real ones, not the Freemasonic trash. We're talking about over 30 seconds. We're talking about entering honors, entering beyond fallen angels. That's the 33rd. They're the ones that fail, the ones who bound by themselves by the oath and the Mount of Harman. The ones who said that they would go down and do the deed and lied and would not and when kept this lie and this oath that they would never tell what they had done. So or else it would just be horrible for them. And that's their story. OK, but now that's all been wrought. And now we have the children running around. OK, they say the first ones of us bust forth from the womb. Those are the mountains. OK, they bust forth from the water. That's the womb. Duh. You know, this is gnosis. You live it. So they bust forth. The first ones, they broke water. They didn't even come out of the womb. They were too big. When the angels came down like stars themselves, like pentagrams themselves into this, they inseminated Gaia. And what came from them is tit the Titan, Titan, Tar, Tartar. OK, Gig giants. And those were even the Hyperboreans were even larger than them. But as they all were subject to time being under the Lord, which is the moon, and being pulled down like Atlas with all the weight on his back, which is all of the rot of the memory and the sins of the Bacchanalia. See, what happens is, is that it's like when you put your hand in a Pandora's box and you try to grab something and then pull the hand out, your hand gets stuck. And then you get these people. This is the perfect metaphor. You get these people that they don't want to let go so they can receive. It's like you can't receive something because you won't let go of what's in your hand. Nor can you get your hand even out because you don't want to let go of what you think you have inside of this. That's why nobody leaves here with anything that is actually tangible here, any of this physical stuff. You only leave actually with the memories, right? So... What we're talking about is, is we're talking about that there's some self-destructing happening because as the degrees of knowledge, which is real power, real power, do not play around. Get yourself together. The power is going to turn up. It will rip you from within if you don't get balance. It will come out in the weakest links. This is how it's happening. It's all, I cannot stop it for you. <laughs> I can only prepare you for it. Sail true. It was just like we were saying in the beginning, all this 10 years I've been with you for these points, and I'm here. 
So there's like no failure, no letdown. It's happening. You're guided. So still understand it's up to you, though. So with this self-destructing on the power, as the power increases and many people are trying to get to another level, they need to become sovereign. So you're asking for more power. And now this energy is going to start running more through you. But that same leak, if you still have that character flaw, it's going to rip everything from that character flaw. The chakras are going to basically spin offline. So take care of it already. Get it out of your mind. Let it go. It's the end. It's over. <laughs> it's like, stop. <laughs> you know, like, serious. You know, you got to get serious. Look, stop. Serious. It's, it's over. Like, you keep doing it. It's going to cost you. There is some other places. They're worse than this. You lose more power there. And they're dragging people into those spaces now. A lot of people are in there in their consciousness right now getting banged up. Okay, and so if you have an inkling of you're still sitting back there thinking about whether you want to be a racist or not, you're sitting back thinking about whether you're going to be divided against somebody that you learned in a movie to hate. You don't have been around the world to talk to people over in other countries to see that they don't really have a problem with you. As long as you're out in nature and not creeping around the city looking like you're about to remove them because you're wearing a war, you're wearing a wardrobe. Right. We go and did. Oh, that's just sportswear. No, that's war. Nike is a war goddess. So you go wear that shit over in somebody's country and you're walking around town thinking, wonder, wonder why they're looking at you like you're about to go to war and steal everything because you're in that wardrobe. You come in the arm, they're going to invite you in. Hey, brother, you, you, can, you need to eat? You know, you'll find us everywhere. Like, I, we, you just, I'm amazed at the galactic, the galactic airport. <laughs> it's like just birds just keep flying in. I'm like, shit, I guess, let me just do some air traffic controlling then because I guess the cosmos wants, you know, this landing pad to always be open. And that's how you always stay lit. That's how you always stay in, 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 in high light. You know, that's when, you know, when the shit starts clo closing up, and you may think it's all over. You find one of the mighty Kames come out who've been walking for 250 miles. Hey, 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 hey brother. <laughs> oh, yeah, you're the brother from the peyote. <laughs> yeah, come on over here. Like, oh, 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 thanks. Say, hey, no problem. They prove in there. <laughs> they still singing their songs. And you think it's a joke? You think that's a game? But you believe in this stuff that they put together in this fake society? Not speaking directly, but at you, but breaking at the new people who still are trying to wrestle with. Wrestle with it. Just treat it like science fiction. Just, you know, let it roll off like science fiction to you and it eventually crack like the movie The Matrix did. So remember, I'm warning about the self-destruction as the energy increases and you start seeing people gravitating around you. Your dreams are happening. Don't go mego. You're so damn late. You don't even have time to go mego. See, if you had like ascended like five years ago, you could have went mego for like a year and then came back. <clears> then <throat> had that experience too. Now if you go mego, you'll be late. What am I talking about? Just because you get a little bit of power, you think you're the only one power. You think beings with power are even trying to be at the mall. You think beings with power are trying to attract girls. <clears throat> you think beings with power want money? Want like a bunch of money, paper money? Just I just want more money. No, that's not how you get power. That's how you leak power. OK, so watch how your power is coming out. Make sure you're not leaking. Last thing is. Um, if you're leaking, this means I'm just giving you this is literal. If you're leaking, you cannot charge. See, that's why they pierced the side. Okay, it was symbolic. So they pierced the side right here so he can leak. <clears throat> and as long as he leaks, he never comes online. So many people are leaking. They're leaking all up in here. All of this is all in duality right now. They're just so upset just leaking all this energy. And meanwhile, their being is dying like, and I see their being and I feel sorry for their being. I'm trying to do the best that I can to get their beings just, you know, out of this trap because they're so beautiful. You can imagine what this thing looks like when it really just gets tuned up and starts working and we just all sit on the plane like little ones of these. <laughs> it's like, oh, you look like a little, little factory thing over there. It's like, yeah, you like it? <laughs> so, you know, there's so much we could be enjoying, so much we can be doing real stuff. 
you know, they just lied to you that all this was just not known or not possible. And man, like I said, even with a little simple TV, a lot is possible. So imagine what we're talking about with this superior brach back online, Oof, on, on the throne, yeah, riding it, you know, riding the beast, <laughs> you know, rather than you just sleep, you know, the passed out version. So as we keep going, the last thing I want you to know is remember that if you don't power up, you can't turn on your, your HUD. The visual system that is responsible for allowing you to be able to see what I'm talking about, because for us, seeing is believing. This means you can even see it in the spiritual world. You would see it actually in the physical reality in certain ways, and you actually see it in your mind's eye, especially the moment that you wake up and you look at a white wall. You know, sometimes before you're going to sleep, you start seeing the star pattern that's clearly defined. And as it begins to close out, as you go into this portal, which you're looking into your chakra. So all of that comes online when you stop leaking. And literally, it's like a thermometer. You move up this jed, if you may. And as you move up, this stuff starts activating to the point the crown activates. And then once these two start activating, look what's happening here. It's like it literally looks like now more or less a tuning fork that this starts going and then the crown which is like a just a just this rays of just just ultra magnet ultraviolet magnetic fields and then what that does into the reality is it just and it goes right into the framework basically and it now not only allows you to see the framework it actually allows you to be able to move the framework around but none of that actually activates. You would not know this at all unless you either took a substance that turns that thing on for a little bit of time, which they do. There are some. Or, you know, you got that thing online and it was working for you. And what's most important is, is to actually get this thing working in balance. Many people know how to turn this on, but they do not know how to keep it in balance. And it becomes that power struggle and that power problem again. And the reason why a lot of people haven't had any real responsibility, they'd be trying to get everybody to kiss their ass. You know, we got enough of those. They got a club of those now. You know, they even are exclusive about who comes out like that. You know, making sure that all that kiss ass is all in the same club. You know what I mean? And so that's the reality of people who want other people's energy. You know, those who are giving their geniuses anyway. They're enlightened. You know, it's like it's it's just a work in itself. It's a creation and, and it's a mentorship into sovereignty. That's all I'm doing here is I'm mentoring you into sovereignty, into your highest being. And I find joy in that because that's all there really is. That's what elders are doing. That's what was going on with the uniqueness. The whole goal was is to produce something great. We only want the best for you. But we've learned a lot and what that actually really means. And so it's just like finally going through the process of raising something or taking care of something to the time that it births. Now you learn what it really means to care for something. So last thing is, is powering up increases attraction. So get ready. Get ready, ready. Get your filters good. Because as you power up and everything powers up, you're going to be attracting more. Remember, a lot of people lost free energy devices because they were being scary. What am I talking about? You make a free energy device and then you stand around that device and you think that you're going to be taken away or you think that it's going to burn down. Things are going to burn down. It, that's what's going to happen because <laughs> that's what you have in your hand. That's what you're dealing with. You're dealing with free energy. So this is the responsibility that is coming to us also because we cannot hold back free energy because many people don't know how to use it because the ones that do are going to be able to bring the quantum solution. So... I want to say wholeness and balance vibrations to everyone. I thought I'd do this tomorrow. It was amazing to be able to share the time. You know, the massive form known as the collective self said, I need you to do this kind of right now. Tomorrow I got some other stuff for you. And I was like, all right, I'm feeling good. It's not a thing to me. You know, small things to a giant. Let me definitely break the matrix one more time. You know, explain the connection between the film and the stars. Now you can just go into so many things because of that. Just remember, though, that as those discs run out, those long tapeworms basically inside of everyone's mind, and they're trying to cast you into this role as a character, and then you got this other faker in front of you trying to actually assume a role too, snap out of it. Don't let them even do it to you. Don't let them cast those spells on you. Don't let them bring you into those movie notes. They'll try to get, find the commonplace. 
in the Hegelian dialect, again, find the commonplace with the conflicting things. You know, I just don't like Gaia. I just don't like uh, 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 this whole thing with the smell that's coming off of this. I just don't like, I just don't like, I just don't like. And that's demonic talk. Okay, like it shouldn't even fly by you. Like the moment that you hear that kind of thing going on, have a negometer. <laughs> Once the negometer starts going in too much and the person is distorted and they're not connecting why they're even in that framework, remind them, of course, you know, be kind and gentle with compassion. Remind them of the good news. Maybe put them on one of these videos real fast and be like, look, this is what's actually happening. You're fighting and you're burning out the center column of your brain. And that's happened so much that you can't actually even light up anymore. You can't actually even get an agreement going on between two beings that desperately need each other. You need to realize that you need your mind, body, and soul working together. You're going to need as many friends as you can get. Some people are trying to run off without the body. I'm done. I'm not the body. It's like, all right. <laughs> I'm not the body. I, I get it. It's a forked tongue, though. The devil speaks or the snake speak with a forked tongue. You're not the body, but you're definitely in the body. So that means that if you feel sick, Mrs. or Mr. I'm not the body, you see how that really impairs even being able to go and do some yoga or have a moment to, to take a breath when your lungs are collapsed. So Mrs. or Mr. I'm not the body, realize that we're actually everything while you want to deny what you are. And then we're nothing. So wholeness and balance vibrations. Thank you so much for taking your time. I think we held the strength. And we're coming in into yet another level of our massive connection. S3 is even rolling out. Like I said, to those that uh, may have just been tuning in, I'll put a link in the description here in just a moment. Uh, if you want to win a Cosmic Clock, because I'm putting these together and the first ones are going out to those who are representing an assisting tribe. Uh, you can actually jump on the fun.secretenergy.com website. You can get all the information there. There'll be some pop-ups and stuff uh, that will let you know how to jump into that. I think I'm pretty sure Tribe is already sharing that on the line. Also, just giving thanks to Tribe and those that are holding the space. Uh, because obviously, you know, I, I get on this line and I intend to do the best that I can. And there's sometimes some flack and things. And it's always great when we have the support and the representation that is necessary to hold this projection by continuously allowing... Uh, and making sure that this space is clear so that you can get a correct transmission without some idiot running through the chat box, you know, distracting and working for, you know, whatever, if <laughs> that has gotten tied into last. And so this is the reality of things. We all have the opportunity to expand into a greater stage of our consciousness now. We understand exactly how this matrix is put together, how that functions with TV and film. We also get deeper knowledge and information about our current and what holds down our current. We know that when we come online that even this, the, the falsehood of the projection begins to dissipate. This means not that you just go gliding into the sky, even though that is possible, especially in the lucid world. But on the physical plane, as you transcend into the state, you should notice a change in your environment. You should notice things getting more prominent. As a sevenfold spirit, as they call it, glory, honor, riches, power, all that pours into you because you already have cracked into the free energy, which is just pure love, pure giving. And so that's all we're asking for people to be responsible for the energy that they bring to us. We know also that we set this projection to give. So that means that people need something. So we have a wellspring of inexhaustible knowledge that we feel brings the wisdom that unlocks these keys for you. So that's all I have to say today, family. Thank you so much. Wholeness.